this task of speaking tonight, I shut up the clock. And I instantly heard my wife's voice in my head. She said, you better get your word recorded in. And for those of you that know me, know that I am not typically at a loss for words. With that being said, here we go. <laughs> As I was preparing for this, I remembered a book that I recently read, written by Captain John Lovato Jr., called Fix Your Firehouse, Seven Strategies That Produce a Winning Team. Not that we need fixing it all, per se, but we, there's always room for improvement. And I believe that this book is a resource that not only every officer, but also every firefighter should read and reference frequently throughout. The seven strategies that he talks about, that Captain Lovato talks about, are if not you, then who? Get everyone on the same page. Firehouse family. Your time is valuable. Operating at peak performance. The secret to increase morale. And lead the fire service better than you found it. Kind of sounds like something from Jeopardy, doesn't it? As always, each one of these strategies is important in themselves. There were three that really stood out to me. The first one, if not you, then who? Where he talks about several things regarding one's mindset, ego, leadership, and passion. In which I would like to speak quickly about passion, what he's talking about. He goes on to say that everyone has a superpower, and that the superpower is your passion. And everybody's passion is different, yet equally as important. Then he follows with the phrase, with great power comes great responsibility, and that emphasizes and that emphasizes that we are to share our powers with the world. The second point is Firehouse's family, where he talks about avoiding conflict, encouraging brotherhood and sisterhood, and developing a family atmosphere. I have found over the years that one truly does not understand the dynamic unless they actually experience it for themselves. Lastly, is to lead the fire service better than you found it. Where he discusses coaching and developing, and those around, developing those around you to be better than you. Not to be afraid that you will be replaced, but, but, but embrace that you will once replace someone else. There is no job or something. This is not just a job or something we do, but ultimately it is who we are as men and women in the fire service. All too often we get caught up in the daily grind and mundane tasks we have, we have been given, and sometimes forget where we came from and to pass on our superpowers to others, as it was passed on to us. Some may take that superpower as their own, or may choose to create their own, but either way we must not let that passion die with us. We are all a family here tonight. We may not always see eye to eye with each other, and it may not be perfect, but what family is. What I do know is when you need family, they will be there. Not only in bad times, such as the loss of family members that we've had recently, but also in the good times, like this promotion that we're having this evening. But also in those times that, in between, no matter how insignificant they seem. So I would like to thank all of our family here tonight for being here and for the love, guidance, and support that you have shown us throughout the past years and the years to come. And take a moment to remember those that are not with us, but have, who have made us who we are today. And it is my intention to encompass these strategies and others throughout to, dis to the discharge of my duties within this great organization and be able to confidently say one day, that I left it better than I found it. Oh, one last thing. Did I mean I work on it? No. <laughs>